and Rakshabandhan, a sister ties a thread around her brother's arm. What is the significance and purpose of Rakshabandhan practice? Oh, they're tying the plasticky chinkiminki on somebody's hand these days. The idea is to tie a consecrated thread. Marriage is also happening like that, isn't it? Mangal Sutra. Now, of course, they're wearing a dog chain. <laughs> you're supposed to wear Mangal Sutra. Every year, you're supposed to renew this because energetically it is prepared in a certain way that it does certain things to you. It is in the preparation of the thread. Normally, we are using a non-sanforized cotton thread or a silk thread, which is not put through the chemical process. And we are using certain methods to energize this, because these are materials which can retain energy for a period of time. So this was used to bind people in a certain way, to create a certain sense of security and stability in the system. But Raksha Bandhan, all these things have become very market-oriented stuff, everybody is trying a plastic, the chinkiminki stuff, you know, what's all, it's made of all kinds of things. No, it, these are supposed to be done. See, the, only the ritual has remained, the science has not remained, that's a problem. Over a period of time, we've carried the ritual, but we've given up the science of it. So let us say it so happened, stretching it to the limit. It so happened you are a surgeon, after a few generations you forgot why you do surgery. You just understand you have to cut up people. <laughs> then you better be in the pathology laboratory, <laughs> isn't it? Even there you cut with a purpose, not simply cut up people. 